So you have, does everybody have a mini band? It's okay if not, cause I'm gonna, I don't even think we necessarily need it. But Leela, yeah. do you know what that is? Um, and, no, I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't have one. This, and, and this is just for, oh, this is just out of curiosity. Don't feel that you need one. It's just good for me to know. It's like a big, thick rubber band. Do you have oh, one? Yeah. No, I don't. We're not going to need it. Um, it's just, what I like to do is like a booty burner at the end. So it's just a matter of how I'm going to do it. So, um, so either way today, what we're going to do, I'm just going to do the warm up, dive right into it, get your music ready. Um, and then I'll go over the first circuit at the end of the warm up. When you are winded and needing a water break, I'll knock out the first circuit. So I'm putting my workout earrings in because I have to, because I can't play music on the old Zoomaroo. Hopefully you have something. Um, I'm muting you now, and then I'm gonna keep talking. All right, so get some music going. Um, if you have Spotify, I would always suggest Next Phase Bethesda account, um, just because I, I opened that before we open Arlington too. So, um, and any of those playlists are gonna knock your socks off because an amazing DJ, DJ Shape Dog, DJ Andy did it. So, well, that's a good one. All right, I'm gonna do playlist 90, but you guys get your music ready, let's warm up, and then we'll have the best workout at home that anybody's ever had. All right. All right, so, again, music key. So hopefully you have something. We are going to start off, we'll just start with jumping jacks, just to get things moving first. You guys know how to do these, hopefully. And again, you can see my weights. I have a lighter pair here, heavier pair here. This is like 15 pounds and these are um, like 500 pounds. So I'm just really strong, so. Miranda, top notch jumping jacks. Christina, I know yours are good too. I can just feel it. I can just feel it. And today's workout is fairly simple. We're kind of doing our basic, the glamor muscles. We're gonna get total body, but. It gives you some nice soreness, that's some good part. So let's keep it going. And now let's keep our move, keep with this jumping jacks. Well, now let's have our arms in front and then we're gonna go 45 degrees. So I just want you to think about your shoulder blades, how they're moving behind you. <clears throat> keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet shoulder width, let's keep our hands up and do some deep squats. Bottom of your heels, hopefully still at the ground when you're low. Press through the bottom of your heels. Only take your butt as low as the bottom of your heels will, heels will take you. So again, try to keep the very bottom of your heel, this part on the ground. Only let your butt go as far. If your heels start to come off the ground, then just stop where you're at. Good, Lilo. Good, Naomi. Good, Miranda. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, stick that butt back. Actually, let's, let's do a few of these. Stick your butt back and then up. Okay, so this is your deadlift motion, your hip hinge. Notice my knees stay soft, but you should feel your hamstrings and the lower part of your glutes stretch. Again, butt goes back. Three, two, and one. And now let's bend over, walk our hands out. Hold your plank position, and we're gonna go downward dog to plank. Keep your abs tight when you get back to that plank and we're gonna go three, two, and hold it out one. Right foot outside your right hand, right hand to the ceiling and back down, other side. Left foot, left hand, left hand up. Oh, good. All right, now let's do that quicker. Quicker, reach up, reach down.
Let's do one more each leg. And good, hold your plank. Actually sit your knees down for a second. Just give your shoulders a little rest here. And now we're gonna go back to our plank. Feet a little bit wider. And we're gonna tap our opposite shoulder. Okay, so try to keep your hips stable and tap that opposite shoulder. Go, 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 go. Good, good. Three, again, you're just going here to keep your hips as stable as possible. Two, one, time, good, on your feet. On your feet. Good. All right, now let's bring those legs up. If you can step, if you have the room to step while you're doing it, great. If not, just stay where you are. Good. Three, two, one, good. All right, on your back. And shoulders up, opposite leg, and arm extend, good. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Low back stays down, so your tailbone is tucked. Good. Keep it up. Sorry, I have a little thing I'm doing for Arlington. Keep it up. Three, two, one, good. All right, stay where you are. Come up to a side plank. Okay, now we're gonna be doing this, an exercise from side plank a little bit later, upper body, but right now I just want you to take your top leg up and down. Okay, top leg up and down. We're not gonna do it too long, just for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Other side. Other side. I know you love these side planks, Naomi. Three, two, one, go. I always do elbow. There you go. And your top hand can even stay down as a prop. Oh, we're not reaching through, Naomi. We're lifting our top leg up and down. Good. Good, Leela. There you go, girl. Pro. Five. Christina, you're crushing it. I know it. Three, two, one. Time. Good. All right. On your feet. All right. Last one here, as far as like just, I can move. We're going to do a reverse lunge. Okay. Tailbone is tucked in, and you're going to reach your hands up. Okay. So reverse lunge. Make sure your tailbone stays tucked so that you feel you're stretching your hip flexors as well. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, one, okay, good. Face me, we need to do a lateral movement, okay? So what you're gonna do, Lateral lunge, butt cheek to that heel, drive that heel into the floor, come back up, and then we're gonna alternate sides. For, can't forget about that lateral movement. Keep it up, keep it up, good. Good. Again, you step up. I want your toe pointing straight ahead. Wherever your chest is facing, your toe is facing. 
okay? This is a lateral lunge. If my toe points here, all of a sudden I'm doing a lunge. Where if I, my toe points where my chest is, it's not lateral, okay? Your hips are here. Are you stepping out? Heel presses into the floor. Three, two, and one. I gotta start finish on my left, good. Now give me some skaters, okay? Foot to foot. Try to jump with it, good. Good, Leela. There you go, Miranda, Miranda. I like the barefoot style, Miranda. You know I love it. You know I love it. Five, four, three, two, one, good. All right, one more little cardio exercise just to get our heart rate up before I go over the first circuit, okay? So you get big rest after this. I just want you to give me a broad jump. And then I want you to back it up with high knees and do it again. Back it up with high knees. Okay, three, two, one, go. Cover some distance. Excellent, Leela. You should be in the Olympics with that one. Nice, Miranda. Keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. First circuit, you're gonna hold some dumbbells. All we're gonna do is a reverse lunge with a knee raise, okay? So just like we did in our warm up, we're going to Lunge back, drive that front heel into the ground, and then you're gonna bring that knee up, okay? So here and up, simple lunge. Now this next one, I'm gonna give you two options. It's, we're gonna do a chest press. You can do it on your back with dumbbells or you can just do like a push up, but it's not your normal because we're gonna do a one and a half. So one and a half is gonna look like this. I'm up, I'm down halfway, back up, and then all the way down. Okay, I know it's a little it's a little funny, but as far as it's just one put, it's a press with a little bounce in between. Okay, for a push up, it's going to look like this. Okay, so we are. Uh, so I got a new table, so I'm working with a new camera angle here. But it's down, push up halfway, back down and up. So just a one and a half rep, and then we're going to do some broad jump burpees. Okay, so. Well, we'll save that one for later, but that's a perfect with a broad jump in, in between, okay? That's our endurance exercise, it's 90 seconds. You don't even have to do the broad jump if you want, but we'll go over that when we get there. What we're gonna do first is these two strength exercises three times through, and then we'll do the burpee, okay? So don't worry about that just yet. All you're thinking of is your reverse lunge, and then your one and a half press. Here we go. I gotta get my timer started. Oh, these are 45 seconds, all right? So let's get it. Reverse lunge, here we go. Three, two, one, go. You're sticking with your one leg this whole rep, okay? Good, again, whatever heat foot is in front, that heel is driving down. Now, say you have little or lighter weights, these are your glutes, so it's a bigger muscle. If you have a lighter weight, just do a one and a half down here, okay? Which is about that, again, like a half rep where you could call it a pulse isn't the right word. I say bounce just because that's what it feels like. But again, that's if you have a lighter weight. At home, we don't have as many options. Three, two, one, time. All right, chest press time. Maybe you're mixing it up. Maybe you're going to do... Dumbbells, but again, if you only have like five pounds, you can do a do the push-up. I'm gonna show you a modification if you're doing the push-up. Let me see what you guys are all doing. Hold on. Naomi, you doing a push-up? Lila, you got dumbbells? Okay, you guys are all doing dumbbells. All right, I'll do that too. Next time I'm gonna do push-up and show you what's up. We're with a modification. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Now I'm gonna have my butt up off the ground. It's up to you if you want to do that, but you're all the way up, exhale, down halfway, back up, down all the way. 
again, let me just acknowledge, keep going, keep going as I'm talking, but I'm just going to acknowledge how when you were doing these, going down halfway is funny because we have the floor. Okay, normally we might have a bench, but just want to get an extra, all I want you to do is hold tension in, that, in, your, in there a little bit longer. And then what I'm gonna do is have us all do push-ups next time around because I'm seeing these light little teeny weeny dumbbells. I know Naomi's 10 times stronger than those dumbbells. Oh, you got two dumbbell, you got two pairs, Naomi, beast mode. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, good. All right, back to that reverse lunge, other leg, let's get it. Okay, back to that reverse lunge. Other leg, hopefully you remember which was which or what you did first time. Three, two, one, go. And again, if you have little teeny weeny dumbbells and you wanna build those glutes, you're just gonna keep tension in there longer by adding that half rep. I don't say little teeny weeny dumbbells, I don't mean that. Like, as if it's a bad thing. It's a perfect thing, especially for the endurance, but if we wanna build some, do it for hypertrophy or for toning, if we wanna build some muscle definition, we wanna load it up. And this is a glute exercise, and correct me if I'm wrong, but glutes are pretty popular these days to have some definition on there. Just look back, look at this thing. Here we go, three, two, and one, good. All right, one and a half press. I'm gonna do a push-up. I'm gonna show you a modification. Just give it a try, because we're not gonna do a straight push-up. So my knees are on the ground, but here we go. Three, straight line from your knees to your shoulder. Three, two, one, go. Down all the way, up half, back down, press. Okay, so all the way up, and then we're down, up halfway. Again, just bounce, add a bounce into that press. All I really care about is that your butt is coming with you as you lower your chest to the floor. Good, excellent looking, good y'all. Keep it up. If you're feeling strong and wanna take those knees off the ground, go for it. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. We are going to go one more time through, and then we're going to do our endurance exercise. So for the first one, for these lunges, I'm going to alternate legs now. Okay. We're going to alternate. Three, two, one, go. Drop that back knee, drive down through the bottom of that front heel. That's how you protect those knees and maximize those glutes. Hopefully you're rocking to some good music because I don't, I don't have the sexiest voice. That's not what you need to be listening to right now. Three, two, one, time. Good. All right. For the chest press, you get to decide what you want to do to this right now. Whether you want to be dumbbells or a push up. I'm going to do the push up because that's more challenging. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. And again, if you're doing the push up, I want you to make sure your hips or your belly button goes towards the floor. Nice, Leela. Hell yeah. Good, Miranda. Give me those half reps. Good. 
Exhale as you push it up. Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Good. All right. Now, broad jump burpee. Kind of sucks, but let's do it. Great for cardio. Well, what am I doing? Okay, so it's burpee and then the broad jump. Also, you don't have to do the push up part of the burpee. You can just come down here and up and then jump. Turn around, do it again. Okay. So here we go. Three. This is 90 seconds. This is how we build endurance. Kind of sucks, but you can do it. We're only doing it one time. Three, two, one, go. Third of the way there, almost halfway. All right, you're past halfway, keep going. Less than 30 seconds. Ooh. 10 seconds, y'all. And time. Get a sip of water. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna catch my breath here for a couple minutes. Uh, just do some jumping jacks or something. Just kidding. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. All right, so we first one we're gonna do now, second circuit, is a thruster. <laughs> what that is, is just a squat with a shoulder press. Okay, so we're here, squat, press. Keep your abs engaged when you do that shoulder press so you're not arching your back. I don't want you to <laughs> just abs tight so you can press straight up. Second one we're gonna do is a split deadlift dumbbell row. Okay, so all that means all those words, we did our dumbbell, our deadlift motion earlier. A split deadlift means we're just focusing on one leg, which would be our front. This leg right here is just a prop. We're going to bend over for our deadlift, row, stand up. Butt goes back, row, and up, okay? And then after that, the endurance exercise, that's gonna be a high knees with mountain climbers combo, but we'll go over that later. Let's start with a pushing. And just so you know, the thruster, when we think about building strength and motion and force, we're doing a thruster as a lower body push because we're doing a squat, which is a push from our lower body and then a push from our upper body. And then our deadlift is a pulling motion because you think about deadlift, you're pulling with your lower body, but we're also doing an upper body pull in it. So, just telling you how comprehensive this circuit is. It's like a genius made it up. Me. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, here we go. Music ready. Thruster time. Three, two, one, go. Woo. 
Again, abs tight on that press. <sighs> 10 seconds. Good. Excellent. Three, two, one. Time. This reminded me, we haven't done some single leg negative planks in a while. We'll do say that for next week. Those are doozies. All right, so next, now do our split deadlift DB row. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna left foot in front, right foot is propped. I'm gonna walk you through it with the first couple reps. Three, two, one, go. Butt goes back, chest to the floor. Dumbbell stay close to that front leg for that row. And up, down, like it. Lowering your chest to the floor for that pull. And up. Let me see what we got. If you have super light weights, just do a single, you can even try a single leg where you're here. Okay? And in a row. Okay? Light weight could be here. Are we doing flies? Okay, we're doing that. Five, four, three. Two, one, time. Okay. All right, back to that thruster. Here we go. Three, two, one, time. Again, bottom of the heel presses into the floor. 20, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, time. Good. All right. Split, down my row. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Again, butt drives back, front leg is rooted down, weight stays close to your leg, chest lowers to the floor. Almost there, a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, getting there. We're gonna do this one more time, then we'll do the endurance exercise. For the thruster, here we go. Three. Two, one, go. Almost there, 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. All right. Now, hold on, let me shake it out. For our deadlift, we'll just do feet side by side here, okay? So 
not focusing on one. For the last set, we're gonna spread it between the two. Whew. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Butt back, chest to the floor. Weights, again, just try to think when you come up like you're pulling up your pants. We're getting. And your feet are gonna be like about hip width apart, not shoulder width, a little bit more narrow. Almost there, y'all, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time, good. All right, last one is our endurance, which today just happens to be AKA cardio. So we're gonna do high knees, six of them, two, three, four, five, six, and then you're dropping down to a mountain climber, and you're gonna do six mountain climbers, three, four, five, six, back up, one, two, three, four, five, six, Back down for 90 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oops. Keep it up, keep it up. Out of the third of the way done. Woo. Keep it up, keep it up. You got less than 30 seconds. Five. Four, finish hard, three, two, one, time. Nice job. Excellent work, y'all. All right, station three. I guess I'm, I'm calling them stations for because to say a circuit when we're, it's all a circuit. But uh, first, what we're gonna do is a rear fly. So this one is simple because we're just going to be bent over. I'm going to mix this up after the first set. But again, you're bent over. If we're deadlifting, we're just going out wide. This one is especially relevant. I'm, most of you heard me say this, but we're at our computers. Should lo we lose our hunch of our computer. We need to strengthen our muscles around our shoulder blades. And this is how to do it. Okay, So we're just going wide, but from this bent over position. Second one, we're gonna do a side plank with a forward press. Okay, so we're gonna have a weight in our top arm. We're gonna hold this side plank. We're gonna press out, forward, and back. Forward, back. It's tricky. Body's not used to it, which means your body's gonna love it. Or your body might hate it at first, but your metabolism will love it. All right, here we go. Rear fly with these side planks with a forward press. All right, three, starting with the rear fly, three, two, 
One, go. Good up, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Lighter weight on the side plank. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Press out and back. And I'm on my elbow. Good, Miranda, you love this one. Good, and we'll try to keep your hips off the ground. A good way to do that might be to do this. Okay, back leg is propped here. My hip is off the ground, so I'm still engaging my oblique. Can even keep that foot in front, okay? But this would be a good way to Get that going and still work your obliques. It's a great core exercise. Hell yeah, Leela. Christina, I know you're doing it. Awesome. I get, I just, it's just, I have an intuition for these things. Hell yeah, Miranda. Three, two, one time. Good. All right. Excellent. Let's remember what side we did first. And then we'll, so we, well, let's stand back up. Now here's what I'm gonna do on these rear flies. We're gonna change it from just our shoulder blades to also get definition around here, because we still like to have some definition on our arms. So what we're gonna do is a lateral raise, and then we're gonna bend over and do the same thing, okay? So again, gravity is working a different way. Here we're lifting it straight up, we're bending over and lifting it out, okay? So then it's that rear fly. Okay, but you're gonna alternate between each rep, three, Two, one, go. Okay, so when we're straight up, we're getting the outside of our shoulders, our, de our delts, and we've been over. We're getting the backside. Keep it up, almost there. Three, two, one, and good. All right. Side plank, other arm. Okay, again, elbows directly under our shoulder. Side plank, our hips off the ground. This leg is helping as needed. Hip square, three, two, one, go. Push it forward and back. Good. Great, Leela. Excellent job, y'all. Effie, get out of here. <laughs> Effie, stay. <laughs> All right, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one time. Good. All right. One more time through, then our endurance exercise, and then we are on the final stretch already. What? What? All right, so now what we're going to do we're going to do a reverse fly again, but instead of our lateral raise, we're going to do a front raise with it, which is here. Okay, so we're bent over, out wide, up, and then raise them to the front. Okay, here we go. Three, 
two, one, go. If you are feeling any type of low back stuff, since we've done a little bit of deadlifting now, just stand up and do our raises. If you're feeling any lower back tightness or soreness, just, just stand here and maybe go out and forward, okay? So it's just a matter of what your body's used to. You're probably not doing as many of these deadlifts on a normal basis, regular basis. Hell yeah, Miranda. Hell yeah, Leela. Good, Naomi. Hell yeah, great, good. Excellent, Christina. Crushing it, Christina. Actually, I'm just gonna go here. Almost there, and time. Good. Okay, so our side plank. Here's what we're gonna do, no weights. We're just gonna start in the low plank. Then we're gonna just roll it, okay? So low plank, I'm up here, back to low plank, and now I'm over here, okay? We're just gonna keep moving just like that. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Up, back down to plank, other side. Almost there. Nice, Leela. Good. Good, Christina. Good. Good, Naomi. Good, Miranda. Come on, y'all. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Good. All right. Endurance for this one on your feet, 90 seconds. We are gonna do, actually not. I want you to have some sore butts. I'm gonna change what I was gonna do. We're just gonna do a walking lunge for 90 seconds. Big step, find wherever you're putting, you can go in a circle, whatever. Big step, drop that back knee, drop that back knee, drive down that front heel to step. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Let me see, walking lunge. Big step, drop that knee, good. And then take, I want you to step forward. So when you come up, step through to the next one. When you come up, step through the next one. If you only have space to do two here and back, that's fine. Like as if you're walking a mat, you're here, one, two, and then you're gonna turn, one, two. I want you to really bring that, you're loading, carrying your load all the way through. Excellent. If you don't have a weight or it's super late and you're like, I want to have a sweet sore butt tomorrow, add that pulse at the bottom. Add that pulse or bounce at the bottom. I don't want to call it a pulse, but that's a word people can associate. It's more of a half rep. 30 seconds, y'all. Let's go, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, put your weights down. 30 seconds of a playa squat. We're here. Okay, just 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Hell yeah, good. Try to drop that butt down at least a little bit. Good work, y'all. All y'all crazy, crushing it. Five, four, three, two, one. Go into a plank. Hold a plank, hold a plank, hold a plank. 
Hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, let's get it. We're not at our final circuit yet. This is just the intermission. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You can do this. 4, 3, 2, 1, time. Good. It's good to do an isometric toe hold after a cardio. All right. So now, final circuit, biceps, triceps, and abs. Okay, so let's see if you're gonna have a, hopefully that other stuff will get your butt. But for our biceps, what we're gonna start off, we're gonna do a combo first and we're just gonna do a wide bicep curls. Okay, so here, we're just gonna do a straight curl. If, and now again, modifications, if your weight is light, you can either come do a halfway back up and down, or you can just do a slow negative, okay? Then we're gonna do triceps. So we're gonna have either one, if it's a heavy weight one, if it's light, it's two. We're gonna go down to our bridge. We're gonna hold our butt up. So we're doing an isometric bridge. Then we're gonna do a tricep, a skull crusher. Okay, and then we're gonna do an ab exercise for endurance. All right, here we go, starting with those biceps. This is the E, I mean, not easy, we're just working smaller muscle groups now, so a little less taxing. So segue to the end, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Keep it up, keep it up. A few more seconds, y'all. Like two reps. One more. Good job. All right. Triceps. On your back. Three, two, one, go. Keep that butt up. Keep that butt up. Keep it up, keep it up. Halfway, pass halfway. Five, four, keep that butt up. Three, two, and one, good, all right. All right, now for the biceps, we're gonna do a hammer curl. So now, instead of our palms out, our palms face in. Okay, so it's forming that hammer. Here, I need, a, I need some water in me here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Go. About halfway. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one, time. Good. 
All right. Back to the floor. Three. Two. One, get that butt up and go. Keep those elbows up, keep that butt up. The butt is for your glutes. This is not a necessary thing. This is just like, why not? Why not get two birds with one stone? Two glutes with your tricep stone. What? That was so stupid. I hope I never say anything that dumb again. But I will. Keep it up, keep it up. 15 seconds, actually less than 15. Got about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, y'all. All right, how are we on time? Okay, all right, so bicep, good. I guess what I'll do is I'll make these last two a little bit shorter. But the bicep, we're just gonna combo. So we're gonna do wide, palm or bicep, palms out, palms in, then a hammer. So you're just rotating your palms out and in, and then we'll do the same triceps. But again, these are gonna be shorter. So let's knock these babies out. Three, two, one, go. And ladies, we are almost done. <sighs> Almost there. Finish line is in sight. Whew. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, tricep time. My music on, is on Jack Johnson, which is like cool down, which is not cool. All right, here we go. Three triceps on your back. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Almost there, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, our endurance exercise. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a hollow hold with a press. So you're here and you're gonna press for, when you can lose this, when you can't hold it any longer, I want you to go all the way back, okay? Just fall back onto your back and let's finish with a dead bug with these weights, okay? So low back is down. Maybe I'll just say halfway and then we can all fall back. Whatever you feel you got. But here we go. Three, two, one, go. Again, we're just gonna press. I'm just gonna call out when to fall back because you might be able to power through this one, but I want you to get that dead bug in those low abs. Almost, keep it going. Let's just go five, four, three, two, one, fall all the way back. And when your arm leg extends, you take your weight overhead and back up. Other leg, weight overhead, back up. Keep your low back down. This is your last exercise, y'all. Then we're going right to the cool down. Again, tailbone tucked in, low back stays down. Almost there. Got about 30 seconds. And then again, right to the cool down. 
Keep that low back in the floor. That's big. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, y'all. Excellent work. Hug your knees into your chest. We're almost at one o'clock. Woo! Okay, keep that left knee in, right leg goes out. And then let's take our left knee across our right side. Keep both your shoulders on their mat or on the ground. Up, left leg out, bring that right knee in, hug it in tight, and then keep both shoulders down as you bring it across the left side. Good. All right, let's come up to our feet. Okay, for your, interlace your fingers, kind of scroll round your shoulders out here, just to stretch around your shoulder blades. Good, now let's come up, cross our arms and do a forward fold. Good, and then roll from the base of your spine, vertebrae, vertebrae. Reach those hands up. Lean to a side. Exhale. Inhale up. Lean to the other side. Inhale up. Reach up to the ceiling. Reach to the side. Big deep breath. Fill those lungs up with air. And exhale and hands together. We did it. More importantly, you did it, but most importantly, I just did a great job. Whew, wow, what a workout. Just kidding, great work, y'all. Um, Hold on. <laughs>